वेलकम बैक गाइज आई एम हेयर विद यू टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑफ सी एस आई आर नेट दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड सेवनटीन सो लेट एस फर्स्टली रीड दिस क्वेश्चन लेट डी बी अबसेट ऑफ द रियल लाइन कंसिडर द एसोशन एवरी इन्फाइनाइट सीक्वेंस इन डी हैज अ सब सीक्वेंस विच कन्वर्ज इज इन डी दिस एसर्शन इज ट्रू इफ D is equal to this set. D is equal to this. D is equal to this, or D is equal to this. So these are your four options. Okay. Now, firstly, I will remind you this assertion. Okay. So, firstly, see this definition of compact set. Okay. So this known uh, this definition is known as the sequential definition to show whether a set is compact or not. It says a set S of real number. is called compact if and if every sequence in s has a subsequence that converges to an element again contained in s so what is the meaning of this thing it says a set s is said to be compact if for every sequence inside this you can take you choose any sequence inside this for any sequence inside this there must exist a sub sequence let us say a and k such that a and k goes to a that means it converges where a must belongs to s so it should converges inside s this is the definition for the convergence oh not not for the convergence for the compactness right so this is what this note is actually suggesting us now look at your assertion again it says every infinite sequence in d has a sub sequence which converges in d so what is the meaning of this thing this definition don't you see that this definition is exactly like this that means what question is asking among which of these sets which is compact you need to check whether this one is compact this one is compact or this one is compact or this one is compact you are getting my point or not i am saying what your question is asking your question is asking that this assertion is true if d is this d is this or d is this so these are your options now you know this assertion is nothing else it's the definition for compact set that means in order to check which d will satisfy this assertion you need to check which d is compact okay so i will see which one is compact and then i will directly mark the correct option you are getting my point or not now in order to check the compactness there is another definition that only exist in rn only okay rn means this one okay so i am going to use another definition to check the compactness and that definition is little bit easy for that matter you need to see this note what your note number 2 says your note number 2 says every bounded sequence in rn has a convergent subsequence that means if you choose any bounded sequence inside this rn then there must exist a convergent subsequence okay so if s is suppose a set of subset of rn okay and an belongs to s with an is bounded which what is the given condition suppose an is bounded this is the given condition then this theorem actually this theorem or you can say note actually suggests us that it must have a convergent subsequence okay this is actually known as the bolzano weierstrass theorem it says every bounded sequence must have a convergent subsequence okay now it says if an belongs to s with an is bounded this will imply there exist a and k such that a and k converges but this note is not giving us the guarantee that it will converges inside your s okay this is the difference between compactness you are getting my point this a on which a and k is converging must belongs to s for the compactness part this is the definition for the compactness now if you have a bounded sequence in rn then this will always imply that it converges but it need not converge in s you are getting my point or not so therefore from this note what we can conclude that if you have a closed and bounded sequence no not a bounded sequence if you have a closed and bounded set in rn 
then it is compact okay just think over it and just then conclude that this is actually a definition for the compact set in rn so from the next time if you someone will ask you that what is the definition for compact set in rn and you need to find out the easiest definition then what you will tell the closed and bounded in rn will always imply compactness you are getting my point so now your question is finished okay this is what you need to know now see firstly this thing okay this one is actually not a bounded set since it is not a bounded set therefore your first option is wrong it cannot be compact because close plus bounded imply compactness now come back to the second one it says these not the second one last i will come back to this option later now come back to this one you know here that one is the limit point for this set right i'm not going to prove that it, uh, if you are not getting it then you can take it as your homework and then just prove why one is the limit point for this set now one is the limit point for this d but one does not belongs to e therefore it cannot be closed so this one is not bounded and this one is not closed right so this one is not closed therefore it cannot be compact so this is gone now come back here this one is also not closed tell me why why it is not closed because minus one is not a limit point therefore 4 is incorrect sorry sorry i have said minus 1 is a limit point but it does not belong to set okay this is what i should say that minus 1 is a limit point but it does not belong to set therefore it is not closed now you see this set is bounded as well as closed okay therefore it is compact therefore your second option is correct so that means the only thing that is required to solve this question is this definition if you know this definition then you are done right and you should uh, if you want to do this in the easiest way then you should also know this definition right by using this definition i have done nothing you just need to know these two definition and after that you are finished okay this question can be done just in one or two minute by just uh, by just uh, concluding from these two definitions right so thank you guys